Today we're going to be taking a look at the best trailer hitch options for your 2020 Chrysler Pacifica. Now you're going to notice here in our rack, first thing, is we have two different types of hitches. The top two here are going to be Class 2 hitches, and our bottom two are going to be Class 3 hitches. Let's talk about our two Class 2 first. On top, we're going to have the Kurt. Right here, we're going to have the Draw Tight. Our Class 2 hitches are going to be more designed for your cargo carriers and your bike racks. Maybe you don't pull a whole lot of trailers and you're wanting to make a little bit more room inside the vehicle, so you're wanting to get a cargo carrier or bike rack. Um, these two hitches are going to work great for that. You'll notice that our draw tight, the receiver tube sticks out a little bit more, or is a little bit longer. The benefit of that is it's going to give you a little bit more room for your bike racks and cargo carriers that may fold up against the vehicle. Where the edge of this cross tube on the draw tight, actually, I'm sorry, the receiver tube is actually just about level with the outside edge of the fascia. With our Kurt, it's actually going to sit back underneath it a little bit. So it's going to require a little bit more room uh, for that bike rack and cargo carrier to fold up so it doesn't make contact. Our Kurt, our cross tube, is actually going to be visible. So you're going to see it at the bottom of the vehicle once it's installed. With our draw tight, it's going to be completely hidden. So the only thing we're going to see is our receiver tube. Another noticeable difference here is with our Kurt, we're going to have a plate style uh, where our safety chain loops hook up. With our draw tight, it's going to be rolled steel, which is going to be welded on the bottom of our receiver tube. Both of them are going to have black powder coat finishes. Draw tight is going to be a semi gloss, our Kurt is going to be a gloss powder coat finish. Um, in my opinion, I like the gloss black, but I like the hidden receiver tube on the draw tight. With both of our class two hitches, we're gonna have half inch hitch pin holes. And both are gonna have reinforced collars. In my opinion, uh, draw tight looks a little bit cheaper, to, in my opinion. Uh, I like the way the Kurt is, it looks a lot cleaner. So, that being said, let's move down to our class threes. Here on top, we're gonna have the Kurt. Here on the bottom, we're gonna have draw tights. With these two, you're gonna notice a huge difference between them. With our draw tight, you're gonna notice this brace here. Uh, this is gonna give us a lot more stability on our receiver tube when we're hauling trailers. You're also gonna notice the safety chain loops between the draw tight and the Kurt Class 3s. Safety chain loops on this are, the plate sits a little bit farther back. Very large openings to accommodate very large safety chain hooks. With our Kurt, uh, it is a plate style, you can see it very large openings, but you'll notice where the plate is located. It's right over a hitch pin hole. So if you put a locking pin inside there, what happens is because they're so thick, sometimes that can limit you on what size safety chain hooks you can get in. If we come down draw, draw, to our draw tight, you'll notice how far it sits back. Our hitch pin hole is actually out here in front. So it's not going to interfere with our larger size safety chain hooks. Both of these, uh, hitch pin holes are going to be 5 8 inch in diameter. With our draw tight, we're going to have an extra hole. That is going to, going to be for a J-pin stabilization, stabilization device. And what that does is it's basically a locking pin and it's going to take any shake and play out of your hitch mount accessory. So when you tighten it down, it's going to pull that accessory over to the side so it doesn't move around. Those do not come with the hitches. However, you can find that here at eTrailer.com. Both of these are also going to have a black powder coat finish. Uh, steel construction, very durable. Draw tight, again, is going to be semi gloss. Kurt is going to be a gloss black. Another thing you're going to notice about the draw tight, it's going to have this pre welded bracket on it. What this is for, this is for any wiring accessories that you may want to add on your vehicle, which I always recommend. If you're going to have a hitch like this, which they're able to carry a little bit larger trailers, uh, is to put wiring on it so you can get wiring or your signals back to that trailer so you're legal and safe. As far as our weight capacities between all of these, uh, with our class two hitches, they're gonna be significantly lower than our class threes. Our Kurt class two is gonna have a 350 pound max tongue weight, 3,500 pound gross trailer weight. So anytime I say uh, tongue weight, that's gonna be the downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. When I say trailer weight, that's going to be the trailer plus the load included, and that's going to be with any hitch. Draw tight is actually going to be 300 pound max tongue weight. 
with a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight. With our class three hitches, again, these are gonna be significantly higher than the class two hitches because they're designed more for larger trailers if you pull a lot. Tongue weight on the Kurt is gonna be 400 pounds. Trailer weight's gonna be 4,000 pounds. But with the class three or these two class three hitches, you can use weight distribution. With our Kurt, it's gonna go up, the tongue weight's gonna go up to 500 pounds, trailer weight's gonna go up to 5,000. We come down to our draw type. Our tongue weight actually is gonna be 675 pounds, so it's quite a bit higher than our Kurt. Trailer weight's gonna be 4,500 pounds, which is gonna be 500 pounds more than the Kurt. Weight distribution on our draw tight. Our draw tight is gonna go up to 5,000 pounds. Trailer weight, 675 pounds tongue weight, which is the same if we weren't using weight distribution. Now our two class two hitches are gonna have inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube openings. Where our two or class threes are gonna have two inch by two inch receiver tube openings. The importance of that is, with our class three hitches, there's gonna be a lot more options for hitch mount accessories where with your two class two hitches, you're gonna be a little bit limited on those accessories. Now, as far as the installation process on these hitches, they're all gonna mount using existing holes in the frames. They're all gonna mount the same way. And it can be done in your garage on the floor. Uh, if you notice, again, the two class two hitches and the class three are, are different in the size of the receiver tube, so it may require a little bit different trimming on the underbody panel if you have one. My professional opinion, out of these hitches, if you pull trailers more, go with the draw tight. It has a welded on bracket, you're gonna need lighting. If you don't haul that many trailers, maybe smaller trailers, kayak carry trailers or something like that, uh, out of the two class two hitches, I would go with the draw tight. Now the reason I picked the two draw tight hitches is because the receiver tube is hidden behind the bumper fascia. Out of the four hitches, I'm gonna go with the class three draw tight. I pull a few more trailers, but even if I didn't, having the class three draw tight, it gives me the availability. If I decide to pull a trailer, I know I, that this hitch can handle it. Plus, I can still carry bike racks and cargo carriers. Now, I wanna show you, I installed this on a vehicle today and show you exactly what it looks like on the Pacifica. Come down here, the only thing we can see is our receiver tube. As I mentioned, our cross tube is completely hidden. So the Pacifica being a very stylish vehicle, this helps maintain a nice clean look on the vehicle when the hitch is not being used. And you also notice here, this is the bracket that the draw tight has on it. I also installed the wiring here and this bracket here doesn't come with a hitch, but they can be found here at e-trailer. You can see it helps uh, give your wiring a nice or a nice uh, permanent mounting location. Again, to help maintain that nice clean look on the back of the vehicle. That's gonna do it for a look at the best hitch options for your Chrysler Pacifica.